conditional formatting. One of our members has come up with a question that for a document you want to create a separate field in which when the balance will be zero, then the cell will automatically turn red. It means after calculating if the balance becomes zero, then the cell should turn into red color. So we can do that with the use of MS Excel's conditional formatting. So let's start today's class. As we told earlier that we want to mark a particular cell in a particular document. So in that case, we will learn how we can use conditional formatting. If you guys want to know, then we have an entire video on conditional formatting. You can check that. If you want to learn about conditional formatting in detail, then you should surely check that video. In today's video, we will learn if we have a particular digit in any cell, then how to use warning. Normally, we use conditional formatting for warning. If you notice here, when the balance becomes zero, then we can understand. It means that your balance or stock is empty and you have come to zero or you need to refill it because it has come to zero. So for that reason, the red mark is used to give us a reminder call. At first for creating a sheet like this, basically which we call a debit or credit sheet, we also have a separate video for that. So here we will use if function. Now we will click here. We also have a separate video for this. If you want to know more about calculation and balancing in MS Excel. Suppose you have invested in 1000 stocks in which 500 has been sold and 500 is left. Now the remaining balance of this investment will be added to the next investment. For example, the next day you have invested in 2000 stocks. Hence your total balance will be 2500. This becomes very important for people who use cash in their business. In the previous video, we did not use if function. There are some cases where if is not used. So when we will apply the formula, we can see that our cell is completed here. When we come out of this, then the main balance tends to repeat, which means in all the empty boxes after that, the balance will repeat. So in that case, we have to use if and block it. This is another problem one of our member had come across and we solved it. I have told earlier that when we will work with formula, we have to be very careful because every formula has different outcomes. So we have to think wisely that which one we would like to use. You guys might remember on condition that in one word it is called if. So in the future, if you come across on condition that, then remember we are talking about if. So what is if blocking here? Look at A5 as because we are going to work with A5 cell. If A5 is above zero, so in that case, we will use this formula. Otherwise, this place will remain empty or zero. We have a lot of detailed classes on the uses of if and its formula. If you guys haven't seen that, go and check those. Let's go to our main purpose here. So after preparing the formula, how we will mark the cells. At first, let's cut this conditional formatting that we have here. Okay. Now see here is no conditional formatting because there is no red mark. Now to get back to conditional formatting, the cell in which we want to do conditional formatting, we need to select that column first. So let's select C. After that, we will click on the conditional formatting from the top. So in here, we have a lot of options. As I have told earlier, we have a detailed video on this where you can learn all of this in detail, like greater than or smaller than or in between. Go and check those videos. Now, these are very close to each other. Greater than simply means that the number we will give, its value should be more. Basically, the number should be thousand or more than thousand. So it will be marked as that. Many times we have sales volume in that we have to reach the target or achieve more than the target. After that, you can get a bonus. So in these cases, we can use this greater than for the sales volume. In the same way, smaller than means the less value and in between means the middle. Now, when we will have a particular value like today, for example, our particular value is zero. So that is known as equal to neither less, neither more than anything like 100, 500, 1000 or 0. When we will have a particular value, then we can use the equal to function. After going to equal to, it is very simple. We just have to put in the value. So in the value, we will be giving 0. 
When we will give 0, we can see that some of our cells have turned red. Let's press OK. And now automatically these two have become 0. Now if we calculate any cell and give the sales as 0, then it will automatically turn to red. So if you look carefully, here it is 55. So the quantity here is 61. If we show that the sale is also 61, Pressing enter, we can see automatically it has turned 0 and red. Now, if we convert this 61 to 10 and press enter, it will automatically turn back to white. The best part of conditional formatting is that you can give a check while calculating that whether it is going to minus or not because sometimes mistakes can happen. For example, instead of 10, if we wrote 100 here, in conditional formatting, we have set the benchmark up to 0. If we had set below 0, then it would have also turned red. Now because we have set equal to 0, it is not red. So for making this correct, what we have to do? We'll go to conditional formatting, then go to manage rule. Once we have an active rule, we don't have to make a new conditional formatting. So manage rule, then we click here. Now in this format, instead of giving equal to, we will be giving here less than, like lower than zero, because we need to color less than zero figures. So in this case, our negative cells will turn red. Okay, now let's come back to our main topic in the class. So we have set our condition to zero. So now a new problem has arised. We can see that the blank cells have become red, which is a big problem. So how we will remove this one? See, in Excel, blank cell always means 0. If it was 1 or 2, then this problem would not have arised. This is happening because blank cell and 0 is considered to be equal. So we can fix this using some tricks, like we will click C and then go back to conditional formatting. After that, we will go to more rule. After that, we will select this option, that is format only sales that contain. After that, we will go to this option, that is blanks. After clicking, we'll press OK. So nothing has changed yet. So let's get back to conditional formatting and go to manage rule. So now we have two types of rules. One is with zero and another one with the blanks. Now see this option stop if it's true, we will give a tick on this option. Let's apply. Now we can see that the red mark on our blank cells have disappeared. So in this way, we can use some tricks to do our work so that you can work according to your convenience. So now you can see the red marks from our blank cells have disappeared. Now for example, if we give 1 here and give the total as 133 so that it becomes negative. We don't have the function here yet. So let's drag it down. So now we can see that the 0 has appeared here. As our formula was not here, we had to drag it down and copy the formula. Now we can see as we copied the formula and as all the blank spaces are zero, it has turned red. We can do one more thing. That is by using the formula, we can turn them into blank cells. If we give double quotes here and press enter, we can see that it has become blank. So now let's replace the formula by dragging. The reason behind this is as we have given zero as conditional formatting, so the blanks also become red. What we did in this formula is that when if else happens and the formula receives nothing, then it will not be showing any zero but will be blank. So this was conditional formatting. Here we have to think wisely and work accordingly. We also have to make correct use of if and else. Then we also learned that we can apply some tricks while working. In this way with our important files, we can do a great work. So this was our today's class. I hope all your queries have been resolved. If you face any problem, feel free to message us. We will try our level best to help you all and provide a proper solution to your questions. Thank you everyone for being with Shikhan.com. If you want to make your bright career in the website development and want to be a successful freelancer, then this is the perfect place for you. I am Alamin Hussain, CEO and founder of Star Design BD. For the last 10 years, I have been working with this organization successfully. I am providing my services from the last 10 years as a developer and as well as a programmer for making you capable in designing various websites. I have designed and programmed this course so that you can learn everything from beginning to advanced level. So if you enroll yourself for this course, then you can learn HTML and CSS from beginning level to advanced level. You can learn more about HTML programming and CSS programming. 
Then you can learn about the layout of a website and how to function a website. And the best part is with our practice classes, you can even get a website, a demo website for practicing. You can also get our guidelines. You can also get an opportunity to learn from the professionals who are already in our forum. You will get an awesome learning experience. So without wasting any more of your time, if you want to be a great programmer or a developer, then do visit our website www.shikhan.com.